Uh, so in this video, we're going to be looking at running check-ins with your clients inside PT Distinction. Now, in other videos, we've looked at all the different check-in and monitoring features that are available inside PT Distinction already. So this particular video is going to be around actually running check-ins with your clients. This might be particularly useful if you're doing coaching calls with your clients or you're doing high ticket programs where you'll be doing weekly, bi-weekly or even monthly check-ins. Now, this question was asked inside the PT Distinction Facebook group. So we're going to explore this in a bit more detail right now. And welcome back. We're now inside PT Distinction and we're going to be looking at how to run check-ins using PT Distinction. So as I mentioned already, there's lots of different things inside PT Distinction we can use to manage your clients, which is the program health, task completion, the unseen activity, highest completion, lowest completion, workout activity, and of course the other tracking we can do, such as using group leaderboards and group activity. These are all things that we've covered in other videos over at ptninja.com. If you want to go and check those out, please go and check out the blog over on the website. Now, in this particular video, I want to talk about a different way of running check-ins. These check-ins are more commonly used in, let's call them high ticket programs, where you might be doing coaching calls with your clients. And what you want to do is find out when a check-in was done, maybe when you did the call, where you can store the notes, and they basically run summaries with your clients. Also alongside this as well, you might want to know exactly what stage of the program your clients are in as well at a glance, and your clients might want to know the same, and also find an easy way to compare one check-in with another check-in, and that's what we're going to go and do inside here. Now, the reason we're doing this video is because it was asked inside the P Distinction Facebook group. Currently, the person that asked this is using spreadsheets, so let's look at an easy way to do this and make it super simple for you to manage your clients inside PTD. So as always, with most things over Pete Ninja, we're going to use group stacking and groups in order to do this. And the first group we're going to go and set up is a weekly check-in group. Now, this, of course, can be a weekly check-in group. It could be bi-weekly. It could be monthly. It can be whatever you want it to be. So let's just go and take a look at a group. So I'm going to go into my search at the top. And I'm going to go and call this a weekly check-in. So you can see I've got a number of different weekly check-in groups on here. This is the one that I'm going to use. Now, the advantage of having all this set up inside one group means you can actually batch when you're doing your check-ins. And batching, I think, is one of the most important tools you can use when it comes to online coaching. If you can batch when you do your check-ins, it's going to make it easier for you to focus your time on your clients and have more time focusing on other parts and other elements of your business and actually helping grow your business as well as helping your clients as well. So I would always recommend putting this inside a group and trying to get them to start on particular days. Now, as your clients row to grows if you like you may end up having two check-ins a week that's completely fine you can check in some clients on a saturday some clients on a wednesday all you need to do then is duplicate the group so this one here for example would be a saturday review group you could also have a wednesday review group and just assign the clients to each one have that group start on a particular day which again we'll cover this inside another video and i can always put a link to that below if you if you need it start that on a particular day and that way you can batch managing your clients Anyway, that's not really what this video is about. This video is actually about how to run these reviews and check-ins and summaries with your clients. So all we've done inside this particular one here is first of all, we've gone to the setup. And in the form section down here, you can see we have a number of different forms. This one here is for a 12 week program. Of course, you can run this for any length of program that you like. Now each form is classed as its own individual form down here. We've called it week one check-in, week two, week three, week four, all the way down to week 12. Now, it's important that you do have a duplicate form for each of these check-ins down here. If you use the same form and then schedule it every single week, for example, once the client has signed it, they won't be able to edit it. So all that's effectively asking them to do is to go and look at the form they've already completed. What we want to do with check-ins, really, is give them a new form each week. Think about this as a form in real life. If you're working in person with a client who's going to give them a form to go and check in on, you only give them one form to check in, then you give them another one the next time, another one the next time. It's the same principle inside here. But what we've also done here is we've labeled them for each week, so it's really clear which one it is for that particular week. We've also added to the schedule in relation to that week, as you can see here. So it's all, they're going to get reminders through on the schedule for them. We've also drip fed it out as well. This basically means that when a client logs in for the first time, they're only going to see the first check-in form. The week after, they'll see the second one and so on, just so they're not feeling overwhelmed with too much information when they first log in. 
Now, once you've got all these set up inside here, if we head over to the schedule over this side, we go on to days after joining, you can see we put a bit of information here on day zero. This is just explaining how the checking works. I talk about this all the time when it comes to setting up uh, online programs. Clarity is key. The more clarity you can have inside your programs, the much easier it's gonna be for you as a coach to manage everything, but also the better the experience is gonna be for your clients as well. So information inside here explaining your check-in is going to start tomorrow and showed them exactly what they need to do. Just kept it nice and simple inside here. Now, down this side here, we have the check-in form itself. The client will be able to go on this and they'll be able to go and view that particular form when it's inside their account and then go and complete it. Now, you'll notice this one here says week one on the schedule, week two and week three. So not only is this going to allow you to do check-ins, so it's going to allow you and the client to see exactly what week they're in inside the program, making comparisons much easier. So that's the first thing I recommend you go and set up inside here and put whatever you want inside that particular form. I'll show you what we've got inside here just for this example by going to build form. You can see inside here, really simple, a few words how they found the week and some simple questions inside here for them to complete, nothing too much and a few performance indicators at the bottom. So now we've got our group set up. Let's go and add this to a client. So I think for this example, I'm going to go and add in a new client. So I'm going to call this one an Ash test. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now and click save and add it in. Now, this process will also work as well if you use Premier Packages to add in clients as well. You can add groups in any way you like. And again, some extra training videos over at PeterNinja.com if you want to find out how to do all those different things. So I'm going to fill this down today added. You can see there's a new test client I've added in. So at the moment, there's nothing inside their account at all. Of course, you can add in lots of the content and put whatever you want inside here. But we're just going to focus mainly on the check-ins. So I'm just going to add in the checking group to keep this simple. So I'm going to go up to groups in the top corner, hit add, hit drop down. And down here, we've got our checking group. So you can see it down here. So I'm going to click on this. Now, normally, I would start it on a particular day. If this was a Saturday check-in, I would start it on the Saturday, which means automatically that group we added on the Saturday, and that would batch my check-ins, like I mentioned earlier. For now, though, and for this example, I'm just going to start it straight away. Click Add. Click OK. And that's going to copy over that content into the client's account. So now when we head over this way, if we head to the form section, you can see all those forms have been copied over, drip feeding out by week, drip feeding out by date inside here as well, and all onto the schedule for the client. But so far, the only one that's live is the week one check-in, as you can see here. This is also over on the schedule for the client as well. You can see here the check-in is now ready to go in here. So as you go into this and you look on the check-in, you can see that that's what's been completed. Now, the advantage of doing it this way is when a client comes in and completes the form, they'll be able to view that particular form putting any information they want inside here, signing at the bottom to say they agree, and they hit save. Once that's been saved, they can also check in on the schedule as well to say they've actually completed it. Now, the advantage of that is that will now appear on the client activity, as you can see inside here, but it will also appear on your main dashboard inside your account, so you can see inside here. The advantage of using forms in this way is when you just log into your PTD, say on a Saturday to do your check-ins, you can hit your drop-down menu and you can just use the filters down here and just select forms and questionnaires. You can see very quickly all the forms that have been completed by the client. So down here, you can see all the ones that have done weekly check-ins and which ones are in which week. All you need to do is click on that. You'll be able to see the form they've actually completed and all that information inside here. And if you need to go and check on their account, click on the name and it'll take you straight into their account, which then you can draw down that form even further if you want to. So again, this makes it nice and easy for you to see what a client has done or not done when it comes to their check-ins. Now, the other thing inside here is what you can do is you mentioned or the question mentioned inside the group about um, if you're doing checking calls and having conversations and doing check-ins for your clients to record that information. Now, I like to use a mix of forms like this, which is where the client will actually input information and then you can look at it as well. I also like to use text documents as well, but these text documents are for your reference as a coach. So this is if you're doing a coaching call with them or maybe you want to make notes about a particular check-in for you for your reference. So let's say we're in here and we've just done this weekly check-in on here and it's for Sunday. You're going to complete the form. And maybe you're going to have a call with that client as well on that same day. doesn't matter whether you do or not, but let's say you did. And you want to leave some notes inside their account for that particular client based on that check-in. Now, one thing you might think about doing is heading up here to the notes section and writing it inside here and putting the date in. That's completely fine. You can do it that way. The way I like to do it, though, is to use a text document. So I'm going to click add in the client's account and I'm going to go onto the coaching. 
and I'm going to go onto text. And inside here, I can put in the date. So let's say I had a check-in or a coaching call. I can just type it inside here. So check-in, call, and I'd put in the date. So let's say it's 05, 02, 22. And inside here, I can put in any notes I want about that call or that check-in for the client. Then what I'm going to do is select inactive. This means I can see it as a coach and interact with it, but the client can't. I can then hit save. It's going to ask me if I want to put it to the schedule or not. I'm going to go yes. And I'm going to put it on today's date inside here at whatever time I did the check-in. So let's say it was uh, 9.30 a.m. Click add. And that check-in is now in on their account. If you also wanted to, to keep a record of this in your own calendar of all the check-ins you've done that particular week, you could also, I'll just remove this out of the way, when you go to schedule it in, click on advance and also add it to your trainer calendar. This means it will appear inside your calendar as well as on the client's calendar inside here. So you can see that down here. So you can see that the client can't. So at any point now you can come in here and go, okay, I know on this particular day, I did this checking call and this is all the information I got from that particular client inside there. So having this kind of setup here just makes it so much easier just to manage your check-ins um, and do summaries with clients, record information with your clients and see clearly what's been going on. And as I mentioned already, if you add this to your calendar as well, if you come up to the top here and go to your calendar at the top, you can see inside here what check-ins you've been doing with your clients. And you'll be able to view that and see all those notes in one place. So very quickly at a glance, you can see what you've got coming up, what's planned in and what's going on with your clients all in one place. And of course you have all the usual stuff to check in with your clients as well using client activity, program health, task completion and, and the rest. Anyway, I hope that all makes sense. I hope that gives you some ideas about how you can use checking forms to do summaries with your clients and also record information from those summaries into a client's account. Uh, any questions, as always, please do let us know in the comments, which will be somewhere around this video. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.